All righty, sticking with the quantum. Um, another common asked thing that people um, either don't see on the videos or just want to know how it's put together is the table. So obviously with the quantum, the 14 foot, you've got the table that lives underneath this seat on the driver's side. So it's always there with you. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how, how to put it up basically. So firstly, the backrest will come away. So that's just Velcroed on. We can then lift this cushion off, which again is Velcroed on. So we can get the cushion out of the way. You'll then see that the table is actually stored into the module. So we actually cut into the top of the module the shape of the table so it can slot in there, which is obviously brilliant because it means it's out of the way. But it also means that, as I said initially, you've always got this with you. So table will bring this out. It can only go back in one way, being that it's got a cutout in the corner. And you'll soon find out what the cutout is for. So table's out. Cushions back on. Now with the table, you have two brackets. So this will come with every quantum. And where you store these is entirely up to you. I tend to say I would store them in the drawers under the bed and just put them in with whatever towels, linens you've got in there. So obviously it kind of acts as a bit of a cushion for these when you're traveling. The longer of the two would tend to go into the bracket that is in the seating area. So the way this works is these handles are like a little ratchet in that when you tighten them up, you actually have to push in the middle and release the handle back to then be able to, to free move it, let's say. Once you release that, it's either then tightening or loosening. So I would tend to say get this somewhere close to being tight and then just slacking it off a tiny touch. Main reason why I'm saying that is obviously once I slide this into here because it's going to have the cabinet behind it, I then can't really turn the handle too much. So if I've only got to turn it a little bit, it's going to make life a lot easier. So I'm going to loosen it slightly. I'm going to slide this in. Now, obviously, this dictates your height. So I'm just going to put it in initially, and then I'll fathom out my height once I've got the table on. I've got it in. I then tighten this handle up again. I can ratchet this as I need to. So I'll get that nice and tight. I tend to say try and get your handle either pointing up or down just so obviously when you've got the table and you're not going to catch your leg on that so once that one's in my second bracket then comes into play where with this one I would sit this on top of the little lug we've got poking up and again I'm going to tighten that one up move that down into position where it's not going to be knocking on knees or anything like that and then with this one the table itself will now lock into here So I'll put a bit of downforce on the table, push it into the top of that bracket. You can kind of feel once it gets all the way home, or you can just have a quick check underneath just to see which that one's all the way home now. So then I'm going to tighten this up. So that's three handles in total that I'm tightening up. Now, once that's in position, the table will then swivel to where I want it to be. Yep. So this is where I'd say now the table's obviously a little bit tall. So all I need to do is loosen this one off. So the first one we touched on, loosen that off and then I can slide this down to the height where I need it to be, which I'm going to say is about here. Tighten that back up. Beautiful. And then the table will just move to where I need it to be. Now I've, I've tightened these handles up a little bit too tight, so it is quite stiff. So all I need to do is loosen this one, which is going to be the last one that we tightened at the very end which will then allow me to move this slightly easier. And then the cutout that I just touched on um, earlier, you will now see that the way this table is designed is that I can move this over into the corner. The cutout actually is designed for that corner cabinet. So when it goes back into that area, I can easily walk in and out. So for instance, if we put it up on an evening, we want to leave it in overnight because we know we're going to use it in the morning. I would tend to say rather than packing it away again, push it over the seat so it's out of the way. You can still climb in and out of bed and get to the toilet if you need to. In the morning, we can sit back down, we can then slide it back to where we need it to be. So hopefully that gives you a good idea just of how the table works, how you set it up. Obviously to pack it away, I would just do roll reversal of what I've just done.